a first grader's disturbing drawing prompting some questions tonight. She wrote that she was slapped and stepped on at school, and now her parents certainly want some answers. It's a story you'll see only on two tonight. As you might imagine, for that seven-year-old girl's mother and father, seeing those tears, reading those words, very difficult to see. And when they asked her who had hurt her, she said it was a substitute teacher. She goes to Bowie Elementary in Rosenberg in Lamar Consolidated ISD. Our Ryan Korsgaard live on that campus tonight with more. Ryan? It was a simple picture that really upset a mother. Now an investigation is underway tonight. Artwork by first grader Lyric Luna usually includes the sun, hearts, and rainbows, according to her parents. But when the seven-year-old's mom saw this drawing as they got ready to do homework Monday, she said she was concerned. Her crying um, and getting stepped on, um, you know, it's not normal. To see. The drawing says, Mom, teacher slapped me in the face and stepped on my foot on purpose, using her own spelling and illustrations of a big foot on a small one and a hand on a crying face. This image leaves this mother in tears. She said that the teacher did slap her and stepped on her. So, you know, that's hard for me as a mom. You know, you don't want to hear that from your kids. Angelica Reyes says she asked her daughter about the drawing, and she said Lyric said that she was hit by a substitute math teacher at Bowie Elementary School in Rosenberg. Right now, we know the teacher's not going to be subbing at that school anymore, but if my daughter got slapped, what makes me think another kid won't get slapped? A spokesman for Lamar Consolidated Schools says the district is aware of the claim. He said administrators have met with the family, and he said this is an ongoing investigation. He said the teacher has been removed from the classroom as is routine in an investigation like this. These kids, these are our future. You know, these are these are our children. You know, we're supposed to keep them safe. You know, secure. And Rosenberg police confirmed they are investigating. We're live in Rosenberg tonight. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.